Hello everybody and welcome to our worship today. And so the first thing we are going to do is light our worship candles. And so now we prepare our worship space. We use a white cloth because we are in the season of Christmas. And we light three candles as we gather to worship God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And so we say our opening prayer. Bless us this day and fill our hearts with your love. We say together, bless our hearts and help us to enjoy the gift of your creation. Amen. Today we're going to learn about what happened when Jesus visited the temple as a boy and today we're also going to be thinking about the value of wisdom. When you have been out with your parents I wonder if they have ever lost sight of you even for a moment. Perhaps you were in a crowded place or maybe you were not where they thought you were. I wonder how they felt when they realised they could not see you. Our story today happened when Jesus was 12 years old. His whole family with all their relatives and friends were visiting the temple in Jerusalem for a very special festival. But on the way home Mary and Joseph realised that Jesus was not with their group. And so now I want you to sit back and listen to this story when Jesus meets the teachers in the temple. Jesus was 12 years old. This was the age when Jewish boys began to receive formal teaching about their faith. So his parents took him with them on the long journey from their home in Nazareth to the temple in Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast. It took three days to walk there, so they travelled with friends and relatives from their town. Talking and stopping for meals, with the children just playing along the way. When the feast was finished, they turned around and walked home again, talking and stopping for meals, with the children just playing along the way. When the first day of the journey was done, Mary and Joseph looked for Jesus. They assumed that he had been walking with his friends, talking and stopping for meals, with the children just playing along the way. But he wasn't, and when they couldn't find him, they got worried, really worried. So alone this time, they walked that day's journey all the way back to Jerusalem. Up and down the busy streets of the city, they searched for him. For three whole days they searched, and finally they found him in the temple. Now. It would not have been unusual for a boy of Jesus' age to sit and listen to what the temple teachers were saying. But Jesus was doing a whole lot more than that. He wasn't playing around. No, he was doing something that no boy his age was expected to do. He was asking the teachers questions. And they were such wise questions that the temple teachers were more than happy to answer them. So when the teachers met Mary and Joseph, all they could do was say how amazed they were at Jesus' wisdom and learning. Mary and Joseph 
however, were less impressed. They had been searching for three days, remember? So Mary said what any parent would say in those circumstances. Why did you treat us this way, my son? We've been worried sick, looking for you everywhere. Now Jesus' answer might sound cheeky at first, but in fact it was straightforward and wise, and just that little bit mysterious. The kind of answer he would give on many occasions when he grew up and began to be a teacher himself. Why did you have to search for me, he replied. Didn't you know that this is where I would be? Here, in my father's house. Mary and Joseph didn't have a clue what he meant. But Mary never forgot those words. She remembered them, hung on to them, treasured them, even and discovered eventually what they meant when her wise boy grew into an even wiser man. The Bible tells us that Jesus was asking the teachers in the temple wise questions about the scriptures because he was eager to learn. Learning to ask good questions is an important skill. All through his life, Jesus asked searching questions. Have a look at these following quotations. A prudent question is the one half of wisdom. Francis Bacon was a 16th century philosopher who said that his three goals in life were to uncover truth, to serve his country and to serve his church. What do you think this quote by him means? Our next quotation says, The greatest gift is not being afraid to question. Ruby Dee was American actress, poet and civil rights activist. She asked big questions in her life about injustice and prejudice in her country. In what circumstances do you think a person may be afraid to ask questions? I'm now going to say a prayer and I want you to think on these words. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the power of questions, their power to challenge our attitudes, their power to make us think more deeply, their power to help us reflect and their power to grow our understanding Give us the wisdom to ask good questions as we look to you as our example and teacher. Amen. Thank you everyone for taking part in our worship today. I, I wish you well, keep safe and God bless. And we end our worship by saying our final prayer for generosity. Be with us, God, as we follow your example and rejoice in sharing all that is ours to give. Amen.